Uh-oh, looks like you made a little stinky. Oh, don't mind if I do. I found my way in. Only took about five minutes. <laughs> Happy moment. Woo. What an adorable little ball python. I'm gonna do it. I'll tell you where Tabby is. Ooh, be bing chilling. <laughs> I'm getting tired of having a little safari hunt every time I go into my attic. Certified jellyfish moment. And who says you can't play Among Us while flying a plane? Good morning, everybody. Popper in the... <gasps> Poggers is in my house, and as you can see, uh, there's a little young man at the front door. A little trick-or-treater, I believe. Hello, sir. We don't usually get trick-or-treaters around these parts this time of year. Yeah, go ahead, come on in. Why not? Oh, is that hit rapper and artist DaBaby in my home? DaBaby, would you like me to read to you the Holy Bible for Minecrafters? Uh-oh, looks like you made a little stinky on the ground. Wow, I never thought I'd see DaBaby in my home again. After all these years, DaBaby, you're back inside a home. Look, he's exploring the whole house. The baby in the house for today? Gone sus? Gone anime? If you guys go ahead and watch the old videos, the baby actually used to sleep in bed with Pob and me during the first freeze that we ever had back in Austin. Back then, he was about a quarter the size. What do you think of that little man, Poppers? You remember him when he was just a tiny little bean? He used to hang from a sack on my doorknob. And you know what? Between you and me, you guys, don't tell anyone else this from the channel. Just you and me. We might be getting another little doorknob hanger baby real soon. So stay tuned to the Urban Rescue Ranch because you never know. Whoa, can you guys believe that? The baby, the hit rapper, came and visited me and my pog in my home. He even pooped on the floor in my living room. The hit rapper and artist the baby pooped on my floor. Uh-oh, I hear rats in the attic again. You guys know what that means. <laughs> Uncle Ben sure has a rat problem nowadays, so I've taken it upon myself to go ahead up into the attic every now and then with my nice pellet gun. <laughs> Why I ought to... Okay, time to go up there. But this is what my attic looks like after they spray foam insulated it. Every now and then I'll come up here and I'll turn the light on and I can see a rat in the corner, but I have not been very successful so far. The ones that are still Still here, know about the poison. Also, I'm pretty sure that James Charles still lives up here somewhere. As you can see, they've been digging holes in the insulation right here. If you guys have any tips and tricks, please let me know because I'm getting tired of having a little safari hunt every time I go into my attic. I swear I saw James Charles just slip through that crack right there. You know what? I'm sick of these rats in my attic. I'm sick of this adorable da baby boy. I'm sick of Ounce Topia and how my boys are always hiding in here. I'm sick of this beautiful new barn that we just built. Fortnite balls. I'm sick of how big the nether is now. And these adorable clappity blappities. Looking at how cozy and adorable these things are in here makes me sick. Happy moment. I'm sick of PewDiePie and Market Pliers always being so cringe. I'm sick of these adorable sleeping emu and this adorable sleeping homeland. And I'm even starting to get sick of these folds. Oh, sweet. Womp. Don't you dare hide them folds from me, boy. But most of all, I'm sick of how our intern Tabby ran off for Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife because of his superior pawns. What are you doing in here, queen? I'm gonna be going to Florida to get Tabby back, and I'm gonna be back tomorrow morning starting now. Okay, guys, I'm here at an undisclosed location in Atlanta. I'm gonna be getting one of these planes so I can go down and see Chandler. I couldn't find the owners to any of them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I learned on Grand Theft Auto and get in one of them and press Y. I even wore these fancy accessories so they would think that I was a wealthy plane owner. Okay, I just took the cover off. <laughs> okay, I just filled it up with diesel. I looked online, that's what it said to put in here. Okay, I just filled up the coolant. Okay, I found my way in. Only took about five minutes. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm in it. This is definitely me flying this plane. Oh, I'm sorry, Federal Aviation Administration. Am I too based for you? That's right, guys. I took this off by myself. It wasn't hard at all. Literally just like the video games. And although I left this door cracked a little bit, I'm ready to go get Tabby. But here we are, Florida. I told you guys it's not that hard to fly a plane. I even had some time to play the hit game Among Us in the cockpit. And yeah, I was on autopilot. What are you gonna do, FAA? Take my license away? <laughs> Sadly, we hit some turbulence, so I had to crash land in the coast. And I woke up on a beach the next day. Now this is an epic bird moment. Okay, I'm on the other edge of Florida now, and look at this, you guys. This is a certified jellyfish moment right here. Oh, oh, 
So my finger went in there. Oh, uh oh, certified jellyfish moment. After that, I hitchhiked and stole a car so that I could get to Chandler's and get Tabby back. Here we are, you guys. Chandler's wildlife. Let's see if we can find Tabby, who I believe ran off with this young man. Oh, look at me. My name's Chandler. I have this growing in my trees. Uh oh, drop my fishing rod on this ant. Oh, getting bit. I drop my fishing rod right here on this ant hill. Oh, I'm sorry, Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife. Do you have ants infesting your entire property? I can't find Tabby anywhere. I think she's being held hostage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start bow fishing all of Chandler's fish until he comes back. Oh, I'm sorry, Chandler. I just caught this baby bass. Isn't he so cute? Now I can do one of two things if you don't give Tabby back. I can put it back in the water or I can put it in this nice big ant hill. Choice is yours, Chandler. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, oh, I'm the... oh, Chandler's here. Chandler's here. No. <laughs> don't step any closer. Hey, don't. Hey, not hey. My fish. Not my Every fish. minute that I don't get Tabby no. back, no. one of these fish no, guns. He's... Don't allow content that shows you how to manufacture homemade Trying to find out if I can legally suppressors. post that video. One thing that Chandler always said is, Ben, please, for the love of God, don't shoot my fish with a bow and arrow. <laughs> Back up, Chandler! Wait, Back up! Wait, I'm going to do it! I'll tell you where Tabby is. I'll tell you. Just listen, listen. Where is she? She's in there. Okay, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. You better show me where I'll she is. I'll tell you. Shut up. Here you go. Is this what you want? Hey, what? Tabby! You ran away from the Urban Rescue Ranch in our time of greatest need for this, for this, for... For me. Whoa, Chandler. Thanks so much for giving us Tabby back. And you know what? Just because you're so nice, I'll let you keep her. The makeup for killing all your fish, I'm going to give them a little bit of bread. This makes up for all those bullets. This should make up for all the bullets that I shot into your pond. Whoa, Buddha be bing chilling. <laughs> Man, I love volunteering at the Urban Rescue Ranch in Florida. Okay, Tabby, it's your turn. Your turn, Tabby. Here you go. Here you go. Go ahead. Here. The value of the house goes down. There you go, Tabby. Now just clean that out real good. Good job. Okay, I'm going to take this little guy into the other room. <laughs> he thinks he can just take Tabby from me. <laughs> Perfect, Tabby. Great job. Thank you. Ben, where's my crocodile? Oh, I'm sorry, Chandler. Did you think you could just take Tabby from me and have her as your new intern? Yes. While, while she's on my board? <laughs> wait, wait, what is that? What well, is I that? thought maybe I'd take a little what is something. No! This thing's terrible. And this actually is a Nile crocodile, I think. Thank you, Nathan, my brother, for getting me this uh, product of South Africa for Christmas. I'm over here trying to catch these adorable little tilapia, and Tabby's over here with her cringe little photo shoot. Oh, yeah. These animals aren't props. <laughs> Look who finally got a nice setup for that beautiful owl. <laughs> Well, 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 if it isn't Bagoy, my adorable young ward. How long did it take you to make this, Chandler? Uh, just well, one evening. One evening? So nice to see this adorable baby boy with all this space. I love you, Bagoy. Give him a little kiss on that. On that. My oh. son. You think he'd let me lick that little beak of his? Woo! Uh, Bagoy cured my depression. Oh, don't mind if I do. There's a big alligator I've rescued. He's my buddy. Oh, oh. oh he's not my buddy just yet. So he was a nuisance gator that you guys uh, put in here. This is your temporary facility for him, right? Yeah, I went to go help my buddy Stone out. He's a nuisance alligator trapper. And when he went to go catch the gator, I got there and helped him get it. And then his boss basically said if I didn't take the alligator, this gator was going to get sent to a hunting ranch where they get hunted for their head and their skin. And that sure would be a nice head. Soon Chandler's going to dig a bigger pond and this guy's going to have a lot more space, but this is fine for now. Tabby. Oh, nice little green iguana here, Chandler. You're not supposed to have these. That's not what that is. Watch out, Chandler. There's a snake there. Chandler, be careful. That's a that's a Burmese python. They're really dangerous and they constrict. This is the world's largest Burmese python in existence. I've already caught hundreds of those in RuneScape. Boring. Now let me show you guys about some of these other amazing little creatures that I have here. See here, we got a little yellow rat snake. Chandler, can you tell us a little bit about these salamanders here? These are Gila monsters, venomous lizards, and not salamanders. Oh, sure. These two ball pythons are cuddling. Ooh, the North American rat snake. Dude, I love the Eastern Coach Whip. I recognize this little guy. That's the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Where'd you get this smooth green snake? Skip it a bad and bad. Chandler fellas be like, boy, I sure would love a snake that spits venom in my eyes. 
<laughs> Whoa, is that a, a northern gopher tortoise? Man, Chandler, thanks for bringing me to this northern gopher tortoise. I sure hope that I, there's no laws against me molesting this yeah, creature. I sure hope it's not a federal offense for me to molest this creature. Oh, uh, look at this beautiful boy that I am legally not allowed to touch. Let's get him across the road so this car doesn't hit him. Come on, buddy. Man, I sure hope I don't touch it off camera. Man, that turtle sure was delicious. Thanks, Chandler, for taking us on that epic gopher tortoise hunt. Based furry? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> wow, these green anoles sure are beautiful, Chandler. Anoles. No, those are green anoles. Look, you can tell he's from the eye. Why he opening his mouth like that? Thermoregulating. He's not upset. He's not hungry. He's just cooling down his head so the rest of his body can keep heating up and his head doesn't overheat. Kind of cringe. What a beautiful little baby boy. And uh, you have a little bit of nice vegetation. I see you're trying to copy me, Chandler. I see you're trying to copy me with your nice She's a female. Uh, you, just, you just assumed her gender. Chonky. What an adorable little ball python. Tabby on the tilapia foe today. Oh, I'm sorry, Chandler. Did I just catch one of these adorable blue tilapia sorry it's invasive gonna have to eat it come on baby girl <laughs> i have this fish for you snap wow that sure was an epic florida trip wasn't it you guys we sure had an excellent time and i definitely didn't film this ahead of time <laughs> that's right if you're seeing this i'm already back but man was that an excellent video love you guys so much thank you so much for watching my video i love you and i appreciate you and i will see you in the next video oh almost forgot to tell you oh and i'm even a little sick of these tiny wobbies too although they are more comfortable with the baby now look at him he's about twice their size